Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, conducted an inspection visit to the developmental projects in the Southern Governorate. During the visit, the Minister reviewed a number of projects, including the development of Mahzura Avenue from its intersection with Umm Nasan Avenue to its intersection with Al Istiqlal Highway. He noted that the project will increase the road's capacity and reduce traffic. The Minister also noted that the road leveling project in Block 934 in Wadi Al Bahir area and the construction of a main rainwater drainage line extending from Wadi al bahir to Tubli Bay will begin in the first quarter of next year. He added that a project for rainwater drainage in Block 935 will be implemented and a number of main lines and openings for rainwater drainage will be constructed. Khalaf stated that the municipality sector at the ministry is working on implementing a number of municipal projects that serve residents including the development of Al-Istiqlal Jogging Park and al Hajiyat Park projects which come to achieve the aspirations of citizens and develop the infrastructure services. Within the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to provide 40,000 housing units and in line with the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 2,000 units to citizens, the distribution of housing units to beneficiaries continued at Salman Town, East Hid Town, East Sitra Town, and Al Lawzi district projects. A number of beneficiaries expressed pleasure with receiving a housing unit, hailing the efforts of the Housing Ministry to complete the distribution of the projects included in the distribution distribution plan until the end of this month, noting the easy and smooth procedures. The Ministry of Health uh, renewed its call on all those who are qualified to take the second booster dose by going directly to the health centers without having to make an appointment. The Ministry noted that the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced the availability of the second booster dose for those who received three doses of the antiviral vaccine Sinopharm three months after taking the first booster dose for those 18 years older and above. It added that this category of vaccinated people can take the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccination or the Sinopharm vaccine vaccination as a second booster dose. Two restaurants in the Northern Government were closed for flouting the mandatory yellow alert level precautionary measures. The visits carried out yesterday to three, 316 restaurants and cafes across the Northern Government in cooperation and coordination with the Interior Ministry, the Industry, Commerce and Tourism Ministry and the Bahrain Exhibition and Tourism Authority also found that 25 among them had been violating the same health protocols adopted to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic and legal measures were taken accordingly. During to the, the inspection campaign, uh, the inspectors also found that seven men's salons were flouting the required health protocols and took legal measures against them. The health ministry called on everyone to continue adhering to the precautionary measures and to immediately report any violations or irregularities, noting that the inspection campaigns are aimed at protecting public health and curbing the spread of the pandemic. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,200,396 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,174,698 had taken the second, and 809,532 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,548 with 55 recoveries and 287 registered new cases. 74 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 162 are contacts of active cases and 51 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.